Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your love reading for the second half of November. Um, this month, if you want to catch me live, definitely uh, go down below, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you can catch me live. But well, let's see what we have coming up for you for love for the second half of November. And, all right, tons of opportunities, I would say, for you in love. Wow, you have... Yeah, I thought, uh, I thought, like, Cancer had the best love reading, but yours looks even better. Now, you have the Three of Hearts coming up first, and the, uh, Two of Diamonds as well. You have the two best twos for love. You have the Two of Hearts so far, and the Two of Diamonds. Uh, this represents you working on something, um, you know, so love, because this is a love reading. You could have been putting work into this, or you could have been putting work into finding somebody as well. Nine of Clubs, your next card. So, I feel like there's a lot of good stuff. Again, I just call this an indicator card. To me, Three of Hearts just says things are moving forward in the right direction, um, or you're getting some sort of wish. I literally pulled the next card. You have the wish card, so make wish. But um, yeah, I feel like there could be some sort of perfect match here for you. For some of you, this could be in regards to uh, work as well. You could be meeting somebody through work or through business. So again, if you're looking for somebody, I would say definitely look there. Uh, next, you have the Nine of Clubs and the King of Spades. Look at that. I feel like this is you, number one, uh, coming up in a very strong position. But I do feel like there will be like instant attraction between you and somebody else. Um, I feel like it will be very fast as well. Um, it could be through dating is what I would say. And um, you know, this person, I feel like this is the type of person that could be coming in for you. Again, obviously, if you're already with somebody, this could be that person. Uh, they're very effective, very hardworking. Uh, very thoughtful. Uh, you know, this is a card called, like, the li the Lily, if I can get that word out, uh, in the Lenormand card reading system. And it represents somebody who's very mature, experienced in relationships, and very successful as well in life. Um, it can represent somebody who's a little bit cautious. I don't normally say that, but Nine of Clubs uh, could represent you attracting somebody who's, like, a little uh, cautious in the relationship. I, I almost said standoffish. I don't feel like they're standoffish. I feel like just maybe you might ask them questions, and they might not give you, like, full answers. It's not that they're lying. Um, you know, it's not like they're lying they're just not like revealing all of the details about themselves so i feel like this could be somebody coming in for you i feel like destiny fate is like pushing you in this direction this can be a card of destiny and fate so i feel like it's like pushing you in the direction of this person here um like i said but i would say just take your time and with this person, again, they might not, like, be fully open right away, but I feel like that's okay. Again, I feel like they're just cautious. I feel like maybe they've been hurt in the past. Uh, this could also be you uh, that was, like, hurt in the past. So you could be more cautious at this time. You could be kind of just revealing things a little bit slower at this time as well. Uh, next, you have the Ace of Hearts and the uh, Five of Clubs here. So I feel like uh, very. this is a very kind, nurturing person that's coming in for you, very caring. I feel like this comes up all the time for you in your daily readings as well, I seem to remember. So I feel like there's somebody very very kind, caring, and nurturing. I feel like it's somebody who could be very physically fit as well. I don't normally say that, but I'm definitely getting that on that five of clubs there. It could be somebody who's also just got like a lot of hobbies. They do a lot of stuff. They could be like very busy at work. They're like, they could be the work hard, play hard type of person that's coming in for you as well um, with this five of clubs. But I feel like they have multiple interests. I feel like that will make them mysterious, but also very attractive to you as well. It's like kind of like they do their own thing. They're a little bit maybe more independent with that king of spades there. But I also feel like you'll be okay with it as well. Well, I feel like, you know, I feel like at first maybe it's like they don't want to spend every waking moment with you. But again, I feel like that's just going to draw the two of you together. It's like, you know, everybody always wants to be together all the time with somebody. But it's like that's when things usually go wrong. You know, it's like when we have a chance to miss each other, you know, that's when things kind of get are better in the relationship. So I feel like it's that type of person. I feel like they really like you. Ace of Hearts, very nurturing, very caring. But it's like they don't want to spend every single minute of every single day with you, but in a good way. It's like they have their own life. They do their own thing. And then when you're together, they're very nurturing and caring. So it feels like a really good relationship to me that could be coming in for a lot of you there. Uh, next, you have the Two of Hearts and the Five of Diamonds. Again, uh, this is coming up in your challenge position. Uh, two of Hearts is a really good card. It represents a perfect match. Five of Diamonds just says, just do it. I would say for any of you that are thinking about starting a new relationship with somebody, I would just do it with this Five of Diamonds. I feel like that's what's holding you back. You're just not doing it. For others of you, uh, again, it could be finances or you could be waiting for a settlement. Uh, to come through or the other person could be waiting for something legal to end so again you might be waiting for somebody who's like waiting to get a divorce uh, they're waiting for a separation you know they're waiting for something to come through or again they could just be very focused on work at this time and again that could be a challenge it could be something where it's like they can't see you at all right now and again maybe that will change in the future like i already said with some of these cards here um but like i said money could be holding back i'm also getting distance as well for some of you just looking at these cards here yeah i feel like there could be distance between you and this other person look at that four diamonds needing to move or uh, needing to be patient so i feel like time distance and all these things are kind of coming up kind of blocking you
uh, from this at this time, but I do feel like it will clear up very quickly. Uh, next, you have the Three of Clubs and the uh, Queen of Diamonds, so a second chance at love with that Three of Clubs and Queen of Diamonds stepping off on a new path. Uh, this is a card of harvest, harvesting something in a relationship, getting some sort of harvest in a relationship. So, you know, that could be gifts, it could be the person's time, pretty much anything. So I do feel like there is a second chance there for you. I do feel like for some of you, there could be a return of love uh, coming back into your life. So this could be reconciliation energy here um, as well. So it could be somebody coming back from the past. And again, I would say timing or distance was the cause of the problem in the first place. And now I feel like the time is right. So again, if, uh, what I would say to you, if you're hoping somebody comes back from the past, I would say that things ended very, you know, friendly, very amicably. And they were, and I would say that, um, you know, there was no bad blood, basically. So again, if that type of person comes back, I feel like it'd be fine uh, to get back with that person. If not, I would say, um, then, you know, obviously don't get back with somebody who is negative. Uh, and finally, you have the two of spades and the four of hearts of that new love. So uh, two of spades says you will find this love when you let go of the past, if you are holding on to a past person, or when you change your mind about something. And four of hearts just says new love is coming in for you at this time. Something very stable, very committed, very happy. Everything we just talked about there as well. Um, but again, this could represent need needing to let go of something from the past as well. I do feel like for some of you, it could be like somebody's trying to change your mind in regards to love as well. Um, you know, it's almost like this could be somebody from the past for some of you, like coming back, trying to get you back. And they're like, try I, I see them like actively trying to change your mind. And again, I feel like this is you trying to make a decision. Uh, two of spades is like Neptune and Pisces to me. So it could represent like trying to make a decision, trying to figure out what you want to do. Again, I would say if they spill your gut, their guts to you as to like what happened or why you couldn't be together or whatever, um, then it would be fine. For others of you, I feel like this is somebody totally new um, coming in. And again, I feel like it's almost like they're trying to sell you on themselves. Um, and again, I actually feel like you'll like it. So um, I don't feel like there's a problem there. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your month.